It is absolutely critical uh, that most of the people across the country uh, self-respond to the 2020 census. Uh, the non-response follow-up efforts, that's when we don't get a response from a household and we have to go out and knock on their door. That's the costliest part of the census. One of the most uh, exciting things I've been able to work on at the Census Bureau is called the Response Outreach Area Mapper. It's a web mapping application uh, that allows us to identify hard to count areas across the country. Uh, hard to count areas are hard to count for very different reasons. Uh, the mobile population uh, is difficult to count. Uh, households with young children, people in poverty, there's uh, historically different hard to count groups. And so the Response Outreach Area Mapper is identifying uh, areas of predicted non-response. And then we're able to learn more about the people and households in those specific areas. So we're able to tailor our outreach and create strategic outreach plans uh, for particular areas. So internally, we're able to hire, hire uh, partnership specialists, people that are actually going to go out into the community and engage with leaders of community groups. Uh, they can help identify if we're in a, a highly Arabic speaking neighborhood, go find people that are associated with Arabic community groups uh, to help lend their own voices and use their own voices to help encourage people to respond. It's really nice to see that the Census Bureau is using GIS uh, in modernizing and making smarter decisions for our own work because census data feeds into a lot of the other work that everybody else across the country is doing with data, statistics, and maps. Mm -hmm.